The sea covers over two-thirds of the planet's surface. Yet we know more about space and the universe than we do about our own oceans. Between the states of Connecticut and New York is the Long Island Sound. A naturally protected channel into New York City used for over hundreds of years. The Sound's rich maritime history has played a significant role in the growth of our country. Join us as we explore its unsung residents and its forgotten history. Welcome back, everybody. Today we're going to the Brownstone Wreck off of Southport, Connecticut. I was given some numbers by a local fishing captain, and I plotted them in my chart, and I already went to this site, but it looked like it required a little bit more investigation. We did this a couple years ago, but we're on the eastern side, and this time we're going to do the western side. As we get down to the bottom, we immediately come across a big piece of brownstone. Brownstone was brought down from Portland, Connecticut, where they had all kinds of quarries, and they shipped them down by boat, sometimes by schooner or large barges. Whatever this is, it didn't make it to where it was going. A lot of places in here to hide for fish. We haven't seen any yet. We're going to head up towards the north part of the wreck. And uh, here we can see that somebody's living underneath this stone. They're not home right now, but it does look like something's been living down there. These are little burgles, or Connors, I've heard them call all kinds of things. Well, let's try not to hit our head into that stone, and look at that. There's some lead fishing weights down here, so somebody knows where this spot is. There's some more fishing line. There's some more burgles. There they go. Now we're headed south on the eastern side of the wreck. This looks like wood. Here's some more wood. You can kind of see right in the middle. You got to look for them. But there's an oyster toadfish right in the middle of your screen using this camouflage. Can you see them? It looks like a big angry tadpole. And those weird look like tubular things, those are squid eggs. And there's a sea anemone. Some kind of, I could be wrong on that one, so don't quote me. Here's another burrow, somebody's living in this shipwreck. Doesn't look like they're home. And maybe this is the 
side entrance or into the kitchen. I was surprised I didn't see any fish here. Just these little guys. Now we're up on top of the stones. Still moving south. Oh, look at that. Somebody dropped their scissors. Seen better days. Now we're down at 61 feet. The water temperature down here is 64 degrees. So it's a little cooler down here than it is up top. Currents not really cooperating with us. Kind of why I'm moving so quick. Trying to keep the current behind me. This stone is round, which is strange. Normally brown stone is big long rectangles, but that was a round piece. See if we can get a better look at this. This looks like a... This is the, the most southern part. Now, if this was a barge or a schooner, there would have been a business end where they were steering or all that stuff from. And uh, I don't know if I found it, but there's no telling. Everything down here looks the same. a steel or iron piece or something piece of piping no idea but that orange normally means steel or iron bunch of rocks making our way back up to the anchor. We're going to get it unhooked because we got it caught in between a couple of rocks. And uh, we hope you enjoyed our dive today. Wasn't necessarily a home run, but you always got to drop down and check out what these things are. So we're going to work our way back up to the boat. And at this time, I'd like to say thanks for checking us out. You can find this on Facebook under Squalls Marine, on Instagram under Squalls Marine Divers, and you can go visit us at our main website, squallsmarine.com, and use our interactive dive map. You can dive all over the place. Just click on the little shark heads and you're diving. So thanks again for checking us out, and until next time, I'm Captain Dennis.